In this video, we're going to go over the derivatives of inverse trig functions. So let's start with inverse sine. The derivative of the inverse sine function, let's say inverse sine of u, where u is a function of x, the derivative is going to be u prime divided by the square root 1 minus u squared. So let's apply this problem or this formula to a particular problem. So let's say if we want to find the derivative of inverse sine 2x. So here we can see that u is equal to 2x and u prime is the derivative of 2x which is 2. Once you've identified u and u prime, all you got to do is plug it into the formula. So therefore, the derivative of the inverse sine of 2x is going to be 2 divided by the square root of 1 minus 2x squared. Which, if you want to simplify it, you can write it as 2 square root 1 minus 4x squared. 2x squared is 2x times 2x, which is 4x squared. So this is the answer. Now the next formula that you need to know is the derivative of the inverse cosine function. So just like before, u is going to be a function of x. The derivative of the inverse cosine of u is going to be negative u prime divided by the square root of 1 minus u squared. So this formula is just like the inverse sine formula, but it's negative instead of being positive. So let's say if we want to find the derivative of the inverse cosine of x squared, for example. Clearly, we could see that u is x squared in this problem. So if u is x squared, then u prime is the derivative of x squared. It's 2x. So now we can plug this in to the formula. So therefore, the derivative of the inverse cosine of x squared is going to be negative 2x divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared squared. We have to use u. So u is x squared, and then we got to square it. So you can leave the answer like that, or you can rewrite it like this. It's also equivalent to negative 2x divided by the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth. The next formula that you need to add to your list is the derivative of the inverse tangent formula. And it's equal to positive u prime divided by 1 plus u squared. So using this formula, let's say if you want to find the derivative of the inverse tangent of x divided by 2. What's the answer? Feel free to pause the video and work on this example and then unpause it when you're ready to see the solution. So the first thing you need to find out is what is u equal to? u is equal to x over 2 which I'm gonna write it simply as 1 half x. What is u prime? The derivative of 5x is 5, the derivative of 8x is 8, the derivative of 1 half x is 1 half. If you use the power rule on 5x, this is 5 to the first power. The derivative of x is simply 1, so you get the constant in front, which is 5. In the case of half of x, it's going to be just 1 half. So the derivative of inverse tangent x over 2 is going to be 1 half divided by 1 plus x over 2 squared. So this is equivalent to 1 over 2 divided by 1 plus x squared divided by 4. So let's see if we could simplify that expression. So to get rid of the fractions, so let's multiply the top and the bottom by 4. 
So what is 4 times a half? 4 times a half is the same as 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Now, if we distribute the 4, 4 times 1 is 4. And x squared over 4 times 4, the 4s will cancel, leaving just x squared. So this is the final answer. You can leave it like this. It's 2 divided by 4 plus x squared. Or you can leave it like this too, but it's more reduced in this form. Now there's three more formulas that you need to know. The next one on the list is the derivative of the inverse secant function. The derivative of inverse secant u is positive u prime divided by the absolute value of u. Some textbooks will have the absolute value symbols, others will not. So use whatever your textbook has. And then it's square root u squared minus 1. Now let's apply this formula in a certain problem. Let's say if we want to find the derivative of the inverse secant of 1 plus x squared. Go ahead and use the formula and get the answer. So for these problems, identify what u and u prime is equal to. So u is equal to whatever is inside of secant or inverse secant. So u is 1 plus x squared. So now we got to find u prime. The derivative of 1, which is a constant, is 0. And the derivative of x squared is 2x. So using the formula, we can replace u prime with 2x. And then divided by u, which is just the original part of the function. That's absolute value 1 plus x squared and then times the square root of 1 plus x squared squared minus 1. Now let's see if we could simplify that expression. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't, but it's good to check it. If you're dealing with an online assignment, typically you might be able to submit the answer just the way it is. But let's go ahead and FOIL 1 plus x squared squared. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times x squared, that's x squared. And then we have x squared times 1. And we also have x squared times x squared, which is x to the fourth. So after forming it, it's going to be x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1. So now let's um, replace this with what we have here. So this is equal to 2x, absolute value, 1 plus x squared. And we have the square root of x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1 minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. We can get rid of that. Now it turns out that we might be able to simplify this expression. So this is equal to uh, 2x divided by absolute value, 1 plus x squared. Now we have x to the fourth and 2x squared remaining. We can factor out x squared. If we do that, we'll be left with x squared plus 2. So now what we could do at this point is we could separate the x squared from the x squared plus 2. This expression is equivalent to the square root of x squared times the square root of x squared plus 2. And the square root of x squared is x. So what we now have is 2x divided by absolute value 1 plus x squared times the 
absolute value of x divided by the square root of x squared plus 2. So we can get rid of x. So our final answer is 2 divided by absolute value 1 plus x squared times the square root of x squared plus 2. Now the next formula that we're going to go over is the derivative of the inverse cotangent function. And this is equal to negative u prime over 1 plus u squared. So it's just like inverse tangent, but it's negative instead. So use the formula to find the derivative of the inverse cotangent of 3x. So if u is equal to 3x, u prime is 3. So this is going to be negative 3 divided by 1 plus 3x squared. So this is simply negative 3 over 1 plus 9x squared. And there's not much we could do with this answer, so we'll leave it like that. The last formula that you need to know is the derivative of the inverse cosecant function. So just like all the c's, like inverse, cotangent, and cosine, this one is going to be negative. So it's the same as inverse secant, but it's going to be negative u prime divided by absolute value u times the square root of u squared minus 1. Now you know how to apply the formula, so I'm just going to end it here. So this is it for the video. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.